Oh, Durst is the worst. Ah! Durst the worst, bitch! <laughs> Durst the worst, bitch! Durst the worst, bitch! Durst the worst, bitch! Sorry, the Jewish Federation and the JCRC of the Milwaukee <laughs> Jewish before 1920, which was lucky, because if they had delayed, they probably wouldn't made it, have made it here. Congress passed laws in the 1920s, strictly limiting and closing, admi closing admittance to some people, most, most Europeans and also East Asians. And they surely would have ended up like my great-grandfather, who was buried alive, to the best of our knowledge, in a stone mine in Ukraine, while his neighbors, watched as 168 Jews were thrown alive into a stone mine because they were Jewish. And our, the knowledge we have of that incident is that the neighbors stood by and many of them laughed and, and voiced approval. We know what history says about the Nazis, but the question is, how will we be judged? That's right. In 2019, living in for what my people is the Golden Land, a nation that was founded as a beacon of liberty to those fleeing for religious persecution. How will we judge for separating children from their parents? That's right. For providing substandard conditions, no beds. This has all been said, but it's so appalling. Will the story be told that we, in a moment of fear and constriction, limited our compassion? We were miserly with our compassion. We couldn't see in these other people that they are, they too are created in the image of God. Yeah. It's time to soften our hearts and harden our stances. Yes. What kind of policies would we enact if those people were our kin? If we saw them as our kin, as our children, as our brothers and our sisters, and our mothers and our fathers? If we love them like people who mattered. Woo! My tradition commands over and over and over again to love the strangers because we were strangers in a strange land. Not just to love the neighbor, but to love the stranger. Because and it's time to harden our stances against this abomination, against this inhumanity. We can do better, and we must do better. In Judaism, as in other faiths, there's no higher obligation than to save the life of another, and we cannot stay silent as our country turns its back on people fleeing danger. Political pundits have gotten distraction, distracted about what to call the camps. Are they concentration camps? Are they detention camps? Are they internment camps? And while there are robust and persuasive arguments on both sides, the issue remains the same. These prison-like camps are unconscionable. We are arguing about semantics where children are going unfed, unclothed, and unbathed, left to fend for themselves under terrible, terrible circumstances. The term concentration camp is a trigger. We can't ignore it, it's a trigger. But I would say we have to keep people first, keep people in mind, take care of people. Be kind to each other as we do, but take care of people. We have to close these camps. We must reunite children with their families. of justice and welcome, so central to our identity as Americans that we cast them on the pedestal, pedestal for the Statue of Liberty. Written by Emma Lazarus, part of the, the Colossus is a mighty woman with a torch whose flame is the imprisoned lightning and her name, Mother of Exiles. From her beacon hand glows worldwide welcome. Her mild eyes command the air-bridged harbor that Twin Cities frame. Keep ancient lands your storied pomp, cries she with silent lips. 
Give me your tired, your poor, your huddled masses yearning to breathe free, the wretched refuse of your teeming shore. Send these, the homeless tempest tossed to me. I lift my lamp beside the golden door. Oh, you try, bitch.